I want to show you why you need a master task database in your Notion workspace. So if you have been using Notion for any amount of time and you've been creating tasks for yourself and playing with the different ways of organizing your workspaces, you might have asked yourself um, how to start pulling data that lives in different places into the same area. Can I pull entries from this database and this database and you know, be able to see all of the tasks that I have um, to do, basically. And the easiest way to do this is to create one master task database that has everything that you ever need to do across all of the different areas of your business, your life, what have you. So we do this at Okie Dokie. We have a master task database here. Um, this one's got some test data in there to show you what this looks like. So this is basically a big dump of all of our tasks very rarely, if ever, do I go into this task database. It's There's too much data in there. I don't need to see it. It's not necessarily useful for me to see it in this way because it's got, uh, again, business, personal, Ben's tasks, my tasks, and I don't always need to see that information all at once. So what I do is I surface this information in different ways across different workspaces, um, the most notable of which is the um, weekly agenda. That's where I spend most of my time. So I'm just going to jump into my dashboard. My dashboard does actually have a master task database embedded down below. Uh, I've also got a lot of personal information in this dashboard. So I'm just going to quickly show you what this looks like to embed a master task database inside of a weekly agenda. So I have this uh, weekly database here and I've got a template for creating new weeks. So I'm just going to um, create a new week. And if I click week, it's going to pull up my template open this as a page. Um, let's see, we're going to do August. Actually, we're already in September now. So why don't we just set this up for September 9th to September 15th? Excellent. Okay. September 9th to 15th. So this is my weekly agenda um, for this particular week. And whenever I set up a new week, usually I do this on um, Sunday, I will favorite that workspace and that will get added to my favorites up there, which um, I won't show you just at the moment because I've got some personal projects in there. But so this is my weekly template and this is where I spend most of my time every day, every week. Um, I plot out all of my personal projects, drop them in here, put my most important things, uh, my big focus for the week, focus for the day. And then below you'll notice there's this uh, gallery down below. So this is an embedded task database. So you can see it's got the same icon. It's got that little arrow. So it's showing that um, I can actually navigate to this original database if I want to go back there, click on that. And you'll see I'm back in this uh, database again. But we just want to go back to this space that I've created, open it as a page again. And so to do that, um, to do it from scratch, I'll just show you, you can use this command, um, create linked, da uh, linked database, choose your database, tasks, there you go. And you'll see it, it just does a big dump of all of the information in there. And then you can refine it to show only the things that you want to show. You could show it in um, a Kanban board if, if you'd like. I've got one set up here, um, all tasks by week. And so basically that turns it into a bit of a Kanban. And uh, you can adjust these properties as well if you want it to span span medium or large size, just to kind of get it to align with my um, calendar up above. And the reason I like to separate out my like very quick to do's and little tasks and just kind of notes and meetings and things like that above. And then these are generally speaking, more in depth tasks. Um, but yeah, this is this just allows you again to refine this view any way you want. So if you wanted to show this by personal or um, different areas of your life, you could do that. If you only want to show specific clients, you can have um, each client kind of has its own view. Um, there's so many different ways you can surface that information in a way that makes sense for you. And um, again, you can refine this to only show what's due this week and anything that's not deferred, anything that's assigned to me, I can show this in whatever way I want. By default, there's no, um, there's no kind of default views ready to go. It doesn't translate the views, for example, like we've created these um, pre-made views over here. 
Unfortunately, those don't get translated when you embed your master task database in your area. So you will have to create your own view, decide what you want that to look like. You know, for example, I could, I could view it on a calendar if I wanted to. And that will show all the things that are due at the moment. So you've got a couple options in terms of how you want to show it. Um, again, for me personally, I've made this into um, a template. So if I show you what this looks like, I've already got the master task database already embedded in this template with the settings that I want. So if you know that you're going to be doing this over and over again, I would recommend creating a template wherever you're going to be using these master tasks and um, just filter them by whatever you want. And um, for example, maybe I'm going to filter this and I'm going to filter it and just show these properties full size. There you go. And so maybe I want that to be my default now. So anytime I spin up a new instance of this weekly planner, you're going to see um, this as your default view. And again, these are your other options as well. So all tasks by week, um, that can be my default view if I want it to be. I just leave it on this gallery view for the moment. Um, so just to go back to show you here, I think now I've got two, <laughs> two master task databases in here just to show you. But what's kind of fun too is, you know, you can embed the same, the same database, but this one could include just client one. This one could include just client two. Um, the options are really endless in terms of surfacing only the data that you want to see in a given moment that's going to be most valuable to you. Um, sometimes when I'm finished one of these tasks, I'll also do a quick move and I will move it into my uh, journal entry as well. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Um, so yeah, I, I by default tend to always include master task database right in my weekly planner. Um, I do sometimes uh, embed it in my daily agenda. And um, again, the beauty about this too is when you have a master task database, I can assign certain tasks to this week. So at the beginning of the week on Sunday, I can say, oh, I want to do that newsletter strategy project. I want to, you know, resend confirmation email. These are just uh, test tasks. So they're not actually uh, my tasks for the week. But the beauty then is I'm pulling those tasks from that database. So at a glance here, I kind of know what my project focus is and I can jump right into those right away and um, jump straight to that information. So that's really the beauty of Notion is that you can pull in and you can surface only the data that you want or need to see or that's going to be useful for you in the moment. So I've just really designed, you know, my weekly agenda to only show me what is going to be helpful for me and what I need to see on a weekly basis. And I just want this standard view of my tasks, anything that's assigned to me. I want to see the date. I want to see what project it's a part of. Um, but again, I can I can change that up. Uh, very, very easily just to show me um, that information in different ways that might be helpful. So I hope that's helpful for you. Um, I do this with every single client project. So all of my client data, all of my personal tasks, all of Ben's personal tasks, everything is stored in this master task database. Every month, once we hit a certain number of tasks, um, really, I just go through and I will select everything that is marked as complete. And I will actually move that into the archive too. And that kind of keeps the master task database, database from getting a little too unwieldy. And um, yeah, that's that's been a, a game changer for us is just to, again, embed this task database wherever you want or need it. You can embed it into um, singular projects as well, which is pretty handy. So um, if I open up a specific project, I can just embed any tasks that are associated with that project and that only. I hope that's helpful. I hope that um, you'll be able to create your own, you know, master task database and embed it pretty easily, uh, whether you use um, a weekly agenda or a daily agenda, whatever works for you. But definitely being able to call the same information across different workspaces is just going to save you so much time.